hello everyone. Uh, my name is Anir Basin. I'm a PhD student at the University of Oregon, and I will present our work for exploiting the syntax model consistency for neural relation extraction. Uh, I will first uh, describe the task and uh, briefly review the existing work and their limitations. Then I will uh, talk about details of our approach and I will present the results in our experiments. And at the end, I will conclude our work. Uh, relation extraction is the task of uh, identifying the semantic relation between uh, two or more than two entity mentions. For instance, in the given sentence, a near U.S. President Donald Trump was born on June 14, 1946 at New York City. We have the two entity mentions, Donald Trump and New York City, and the relation between them is boring. And we are interested to uh, extract these uh, relation between these two entity mentions. Um, in this work, we consider a supervised single sentence setting, which means that both entities uh, appear within a sentence and uh, the label for that sentence is determined by human. Uh, here is the formal definition of the task. We are given a sequence of words and uh, also two indices S and O which indicates the positions for the subject and object of that relation and we uh, our goal is to find the semantic relation between two entity mentions uh, WS and WO and if there is no relation between these two entities, we assign the label none to that sentence. Uh, most of the existing work has shown that uh, dependency, dependency tree is important for the task of relation extraction, either for feature-based models or deep learning models, but there is a limitation for them, and that is um, dependency tree is directly used to uh, form the computation graph of these models and this is a limitation because if there is an error in the dependency tree it could easily propagate into the model and um, also in a cross domain setting where the structure of the training set would be different from the test set uh, it could be a problem because uh, the structures that the model is uh, using in the test set are different from the one that it has used in the training and in order to alleviate this uh, problem, we introduce a method to encode the uh, dependency tree indirectly in our model uh, so we can uh, make our model to be more robust to the structural shift or the errors in the dependency tree, but uh, we are still using the uh, useful information in that uh, structure. Uh, so uh, the main idea of our mo uh, model is to uh, first compute some model based importance and scores for words uh, from the architectures that are designed to encode the sentence semantics. So it will indicate uh, which words are important uh, in our model to encode the semantic of the sentence and we encourage these uh, word importance and scores to be consistent with the dependency tree. So we will compute another set of uh, scores using the dependency tree and make consistency between the model-based and syntax-based importance scores. And uh, as the previous work has shown that uh, shortest dependency path is very important for this task, and we are not uh, directly using the uh, dependency tree in our model, we propose a, a new inductive bias to encourage the similarity between the sentence representations and also the shortest uh, dependency path representations to use those information in our model. Uh, for model-based importance scores, we are using uh, ordered neuron uh, LSTM, which is a variant of uh, LSTM, and the main idea is to uh, update different portions of the hidden neurons at different time steps. For instance, uh, for the given uh, sample sentence, if X1 is the most important word in the sentence, we should update more neurons, all three neurons. And if X2 is the uh, next important one, we should update only two neurons. And for the X3, which is the least important one, we should update only one neuron. And to achieve this, uh, analyst team proposed to use two uh, master input and forget gates which are very similar to the uh, original forget and uh, input gates in the original LSTM and the main difference is the activation function uh, which is Qmax. Qmax is the accumulative sum of the, uh, over the softmax of the input and it will ideally 
divide the uh, given input into two segments of zeros and ones. And using that, we can identify which neurons should be activated and which neurons should not be activated at different time steps. And using these information, we can compute model this important scores for each one. More specifically, what we do is that we compute the sum of the values in the master forget gates and we subtract that from one to estimate the model with importance as well for each one. Uh, however, there is a limitation in the original analyst layer and that is it will infer the master forget or input gate using uh, only the left context of the board. And in order to solve this problem, uh, we propose to uh, replace the input uh, vector at different time steps of the analyst team with um, a weighted sum of the entire sentence. And the attention scores for uh, words are computed based on the uh, uh, similarity between the representations of the uh, word and also the uh, hidden state that we have at that time step. And using these attention scores, we will compute a, a weighted sum over the all words of that sentence and we use that weighted sum as the input vector at different time steps. And uh, after this, uh, we need to compute the syntax-based uh, uh, scores to uh, find which words are syntactically important in this sentence. And our intuition is to use the uh, to give the highest scores to the words that are on the shortest dependency path. So we will give those uh, words the score T, which T is the longest distance between two words in the uh, dependency tree. And uh, for any other words, we'll give them T minus T score, which uh, T is the distance of that word to some word on the uh, shortest dependency path. And these uh, scores will be uh, loyal to the global structure of the dependency tree, but they are uh, robust to the uh, some structural shifts or errors because if there is a change in part of the dependency tree, it will not uh, uh, change the uh, weight of most of the words in that uh, tree. Uh, so uh, at the end, uh, we will uh, use the Kaya divergence to uh, encourage the consistency between the model base and syntax based importance of scores. And uh, finally, uh, as I mentioned, to uh, encode the shortest dependency path information uh, into our model, uh, we are using an inductive bias where we encourage the similarity between the sentence representations and the uh, STP representations. We compute these representations using the max pooling of the words that are uh, the words of the sentence and also the words of the shortest dependency path. And we are using cosine similarity to encourage uh, this, uh, similar, uh, this similarity between these two representations. And for the predictions, we use the representations of the subject and object in different abstract levels and also the representations of the internal sentence. We are using the negative log likelihood for the prediction loss and the overall loss will be the prediction loss, the KL divergence and also the causal similarity that we mentioned earlier. In our experiments, we are using three data sets. The first one, for, the first one is for cross-domain setting, which is a 5 data set. We are using broadcast news and newswire as the training and also uh, half of the broadcast conversations for the development and the rest of data are used for uh, testing. Uh, in addition to that, exposed data set is a data set for predicting uh, if two entities uh, are exposed or not. And also, SciRC is another data set to uh, predict the semantic relations mentioned in scientific abstracts. Uh, in our experiments, we first compare our model with the feature-based, uh, deep learning-based, and uh, graph-based models. Uh, uh, using word to make embedding. Uh, the most similar work to ours is DRPC, which uh, will break down the dependency tree into edges and predict the dependency edges uh, in a multitask setting. Uh, but uh, in our work, we are using some uh, ways that are more loyal to the uh, global structure of the dependency tree. And uh, you can see that the uh, performance of our model on three different test sets that we have in this data set are better than the existing models and also using BERT we achieved still of the art results on these test sets and also in SPOS and SIRC using both word to work or BERT embedding we achieved still of the art results 
on these two data sets. Uh, finally, for the ablation study, as we have three major components in our model, uh, sentence uh, cons context for the anonymous communicates, syntax model consistency, and shortest dependency path consistency, we will uh, uh, remove them to evaluate their importance uh, for our model. And we can see that removing them will hurt the performance, and removing more components will hurt more, which means that these model uh, components have uh, complementary effects on each other. So in conclusion, we introduce a new method to incorporate the syntax information indirectly in uh, deep models uh, that make it more robust, especially in a cross-domain setting. And we enhance the uh, analysis thing gating by using the contextual information from the entire system. And we propose a new inductive bias for using the shortest bandwidth impact information in our model. And our experiments show the uh, it's not the odd result on three-bedge point data set. Thank you.